These one frame glitches are very easy to make once you know how they work. So the first thing you need to do is create an adjustment layer. Add a solid shape and fit it to the screen. Trim it to one frame. Then add copy background effect in it. This will be our adjustment layer. Then duplicate it three times. Now change the first and last layer into solid black. And for the middle one, you can put whatever effect you want, or you can also leave it empty. I'm gonna go with a simple directional blur and offset. And it's done very simple, isn't it? Now let's make one more. And you can see the preview of the glitches using the timestamps. Anyway, this one is also very easy. So start by making an adjustment layer. We will make an edge glow in this layer. So add a Find Edges effect from Effect tab and adjust the values. After that add replace color. With this we're gonna change the color of the edges. In change color pick white, and down in new color pick a new color for the edges. Then increase the threshold. You can also use hot color instead of this. But anyway now let's add the glow. Create another adjustment layer for the glow. Then add inner blur. Adjust the blur value. Then change the blending to linear dodge. Then duplicate the layer. And increase the blur value. You can add exposure if you want more brightness. Now again create an adjustment layer. In this layer we will create an invert. The normal invert was just a solid white, so I will make it in a different way. And I will upload the preset of this project in the description. Now for the next layer. Just copy these three and paste them here. Remove replace color and add hot color. Pick the color and the tint.
then add saturation. Now create one more adjustment layer. It's too hassle to make an adjustment layer every time so just duplicate one of the layer and remove the unnecessary effects. And also make sure that the blending is set to normal. Keep the layer with direction blur below the other three layers. Then add directional blur in the layer that we just created. Then adjust the blur value and also the angle if you want. Now let's see how it turns out. Looks good to me. And don't ask how the color changed. Like and subscribe for more.